My name is Michael Pellet, and I'm the award-winning author of a book named The Spirit of Crystal River. Uh, the book has three reasons that I'd like to talk about real quick. The first one is that the um, boat builders, the Chris River boat builders, took two years to build the Spirit with the 1800s tools. And uh, it was a wonderful low uh, draft vessel that could go through the rivers and carry large uh, loads. It also had the effect that it could elude the, block, the blockade. Now the second reason is that at the corner of US 19 and uh, Citrus Avenue is the spirit and it sits there and it's a beacon of history for the area. The third reason is the people of Crystal River needed a way to get their goods out and also buy goods and have them come back in. And they used the river and the scows for that purpose. Uh, of course, the uh, Lincoln had its blockade during the Civil War. So what I did was I wrapped history around the story of the people of Crystal River. When I was a young boy, I decided the things I'd like to do in my life. And it's interesting because first I wanted to retire from some job, make a whopping $10,000 which wouldn't have helped much, <laughs> and uh, then write a book or two. Right. So after I retired, I accomplished that goal of writing one book, now I want to write more. I've had a very action-packed life, and it's been a, a wonderful thing. And I've uh, had a lot of friends that uh, have interesting stories that they tell, and I use them inside the books too. And that's probably about 30 to 40 percent of the knowledge of, of uh, the books. Um, as far as, uh, what was the other part of the question? I'm sorry. How much research do you do before you start writing? Right. As much as I possibly can, because if you know the history of a place, it makes the story more realistic. My writing space has a lot of pictures and plaques on the walls and they help me remember different things. Uh, I also have in one of the corners a uh, uh, do not park sign from LBJ's inauguration. Uh, in my bookcases, I have a lot of historical books. I have books that are on nature and books on medicine. So I use all these things. And I also have a lot of stuff. <laughs> so. That's basically what I use. Now my ideal place is my den because I have all the things that I can remember. One book that meant more to me than anything is a book by Lloyd Lehman. And it's 110 pages, very small, and it's on the fire tactics. From that book, most other books are written about tactics. So it was a basis and I thought, well, that was a tremendous thing. My mother and I went to the library, and we had forgotten to bring back a book. And I went, oh my gosh, we're going to be taken to library jail. And you know, that's right next to purgatory. 